So the first thing to do here is to open the Styles pane. So on the Home tab, we have a Styles uh, group here. And to open the Styles pane, we're going to click this launcher. And this is the Styles pane. It can actually be moved around if you, if you like. Then it tells you position the cursor on the first word video and apply one of the six character styles. So the character styles are any of these ones that have a lowercase a beside them. So I'll do intense emphasis here. And when I go to click on it, it actually gives me a little description that this is going to be an italic font with a color of accent one. And when I click it, you can see that the word changed. Now, then it says, uh, and then it asks you type the style name after the word and highlight it in yellow. And that's because I want you to be familiar with these. So after that, you're going to type intense uh, reference. No, uh, yeah. And if you're not sure, like me, just click back on it and it tells you right there. So see, I got that word wrong. Emphasis. And it's because uh, you do want to get familiar with these, especially if you go on to write that exam. Okay, so we did that. Type the name and highlight it in yellow. Okay, done. Then go to the next paragraph. So I'm on the word two. Apply, apply the last paragraph style in the styles pane list called list. And here it is at the, the bottom here. And you can see that it has a paragraph symbol or show hide symbol, which basically is means paragraph. And I'm going to click this one. I haven't clicked it yet. It is telling me that there's going to be some indentation and a few other things. So I'm going to click it and I want you to look what happens to the entire paragraph. Okay, the entire paragraph was impacted. So anytime you have the cursor somewhere, if you apply a character style, it's only going to impact that word. If you apply a paragraph style, it's going to apply to the whole paragraph. So the last one, position the cursor in the first word of the third paragraph and click the intense quote. So over here you can see intense quote, <coughs> excuse me, it's both a paragraph and a character style. So let's see what happens. Oh, so lots of things here. Look at all that stuff. So let's go ahead and do it and look at impacted a lot of things. So when there are both, it's it's a linked style. So I could just select one word and put an intense quote and only that one word has this style on it. But if it's a whole paragraph, it put these lines uh, at top and bottom. And the last one is the title style to the last paragraph. So uh, you can come up here and get the title style. And notice it's huge because it's usually used for a title. And just notice that all these styles here are also, well, usually in here as well. This is called the gallery. And I'll open up the styles pane and tell you something before I forget. Uh, actually, no, I won't. Tell you later.